Step into a mind-bending journey where time unravels its mysteries and challenges everything you thought you knew. Brace yourself for an extraordinary exploration as we dive deep into the rabbit hole of temporal enigmas. Get ready to have your perceptions shattered as we present 10 mind-boggling conceptions of time that will leave you questioning reality itself. This is the ultimate voyage for those hungry for knowledge and eager to unlock the secrets of the universe. Buckle up because time is about to take you on a mind-altering roller coaster ride you'll never forget. Time is so ubiquitous that it covers absolutely everything we do, encapsulating our existence and that of everything we know. It could be said that there is nothing that exists outside of time. Time is the flowing in a forward direction of all things that exist, indefinite continued progress, every second absorbing the last, consuming it as we move forward in the space-time continuum. This very second will never exist again. Here are 10 interesting conceptions of time to give you a more nuanced view of this fascinating part of the fabric of our existence. 1. Linear time. This is the first, most intuitive version of time there is, the straightforward experience that views time as a line, streaming seamlessly from one moment to the next. When we plot time on a straight line, that's linear time, a linear representation of how time works. In linear time, each moment must necessarily succeed the previous as time flows and each second melts into the next. This is almost naturally how we look at time, as moving in one direction, from past to future, but linear time is by far nowhere near the only conception of time. By contrast, nonlinear time is a concept that modern science and philosophy are formulating, which states that unlike the typical past-present-future mode of existing that all things share, there could be multiple versions of this very present moment we're currently inhabiting, experienced differently by the subjects and objects within each. 2. Circular time. Circular time is also quite familiar to us. It's a time frame that repeats, typically on a predictable routine, like the clock that goes around and around and around infinitely, always coming back to the same numbers it began with. We might also look at weeks, months, and years as circular as well. The concept of circular time dates back to ancient Hebrew philosophy. Because time is circular, according to the ancient Hebrews, it is also unending. Certainly, many ancient cultures used the clockwork-like movements of the sun and moon to plant, plan, and predict the futures of their lives. The ancient Greeks were very proficient in astronomy and agriculture, both of which depend heavily on the concept of circular time or cyclical time. Thus, they the Maya, and many more ancient cultures thought that time was circular and that events ebbed and flowed, coming and going, being born, and dying away, only to come back again. 3. Real Duration The next fascinating way of looking at time is pretty distinct from what we discussed so far. This is the real duration, also just called duration, from the philosopher Henry Bergson. For Bergson, real duration is our lived time or the time we experience from within and our interpretation of that which can be radically different from the time we see objectively that is measured by the physical sciences. Unlike linear or circular time, which is always the same in quality and experience, real duration is how we experience time from the inside of our worldviews. Let's say you take a bite out of some yuck shirt and then sit back and stare out of a window for one minute in linear time. The next minute, someone strikes your foot as hard as they can with a hammer. Those two minutes are going to feel like completely different types of time because the qualities of experience that we are encountering with each of these are extremely different. 4. Temporality Temporality is another philosophical concept that pertains to time. Temporality is the philosophical study of the past, present, and future, and what they mean to us, the conscious agents living our lives. If time is the study of a linear path along an axis or a circular motion by which all things repeat, and real duration is the experience of time as we live it from within, then temporality is the focus on how things change. Temporality is the real effects of time, as a banana goes from a state of being unripe to ripe to rotten, or how a body slowly decomposes over a series of days, weeks, months, and years. While the days, weeks, months, and years are the measurements of time, the concrete process of decomposition takes place through temporality. 5. Relationism Relationism is a concept of time that has been around for a very long time. It's one half of the dichotomy between relationism and absolutism, sometimes also referred to as substantialism, which has been an ongoing debate in philosophy and the sciences. 
Relationism holds that time cannot exist outside of the changing events and motion of objects traversing through time which make up the unfolding of time as the universe experiences it. Sort of like the debate between temporality and linear time, relationism seeks to explain that time doesn't simply just unfold in a forward direction abstractly, but rather, it is an inherent product of the change which is bestowed upon the objects which compose the totality of space. In short, relationism claims that without change there cannot be time, and the two are the same. 6. Absolutism Absolutism is quite the opposite view of relationism. Close your eyes for a second and picture an expansion, a vast recess of black, space. No light exists, nothing is there. It's just a massive empty void of sweet, beautiful nothingness. Does time exist here? Does it exist without any objects whatsoever to fill it up? Any change going on? Is time a fabric of this hypothetical universe you're dreaming up? Or is each moment the same as the next, thus negating time as being a concept that has any meaning? Furthermore, if time is a measurement, what would be measured in such a place? And if science or philosophy is the discussion of concrete facts of reality, do such hypotheticals have such a place in our thought processes, or should we stick to that which is falsifiable in the name of intellectual honesty? 7. Presentism Did you ever have one of those deep, pondering moments where you wondered if right now is all that exists and all that you are? Like right now, this very moment? Presentism is a very real philosophical line of thought, wherein proponents believe that the moment you're inhibiting right now is all that can be said to exist. That the past and the future aren't real but rather figments of our imagination. While presentism is, for all intents and purposes, actually quite true on a personal level, no matter how counterintuitive it may seem, as we know we weren't simply placed right here at this moment and have an extended past from which we learned and became, presentism even extends to objects and the nature of the things which inhibit our universe. Presentism goes a step further in saying that the objects which exist here and now are the only things that can be said to exist, and anything that is supposed to have existed before, like your cell phone five seconds ago, was wiped away and destroyed as each moment blurred into the next, that the present reality is the only reality. 8. Dimensionality Since Pythagoras introduced the three-dimensional model of space we know and love today, the dimensions of height, width, and length, time and space have sat side by side neatly. Time, it was seen, has always been the fourth dimension. For centuries, space and time were treated as separate entities until around the late 1800s, when the question began to be proposed and finally came to a head with Einstein's theory of relativity. Are time and space one solid fabric of existence called space-time or time-space? Dimensionality refers to the debate about where exactly time fits into the dimensions of space. Or, are they one? This question is an ancient one, can time exist independently without space? Or can space exist without time? This has brought us to the prevailing doctrine, the idea of four-dimensional space-time, where you cannot tease out time from space. 9. Metabolic Influence Modern science has begun to unveil some seriously strange things since we've unhinged time from its basic circular and linear conceptions. One of the newer developments is related to relative time, in how objects and entities experience times in different ways, at different rates, or as unfolding at different speeds. There is a connection between metabolic rate and time perception. In short, smaller animals with higher metabolic rates, like mice and hummingbirds, experience time as slower and accordingly, seem to act in time faster. One quick look at a hummingbird speeding around or a mouse zipping through your kitchen and you wonder how such a small animal with comparatively tiny muscles can move so quickly compared to larger humans with our slow, cumbersome motions. 10. Animal Perception of Time You've heard of dog years. Well, it turns out there is some truth behind the idea. Perception-wise, smaller animals live in a slow-motion existence quite different from our own. Imagine for a second that time isn't a fixed thing, that the real duration or experience time we spoke of earlier is the central unit of time. Then it would be safe to say that different animals could be programmed to tick each second at a different rate of experience. The fundamental rate that each moment perceptively moves into the next would be faster for some animals and slower for others. This seems to be the case as far as modern science can tell. Imagine for a second your computer is the fundamental timekeeper, 